I'm not gonna lie, man. 76ers, my brethren, it low key might be keys for y'all. They trying to rush what's the faces, um, yeah, Joel and B's uh, comeback because he tore his meniscus. That's low key retard. This it's retarded. Why would you rush it and y'all have no chance to get in anywhere this year? Like, even if he come back, nothing's going to change. Y'all in a worse situation than last year. So why the fuck would, would you even risk an injury, like a career-ending injury? You did what I said. Let that nigga sit. Just take the L for this year because y'all are not getting nowhere. Let's get to it. The game, so their number one focus just has to be stealing wins, gener generating wins, any win and then fucking how many close games they've had. This nigga Clay of. fucking in his feelings because he's he's ass now. He's ass nine. He did what I said. This thing is bumble class. Or he's he's not ass, but he's just not the same like, at all. And it's obvious. And he hates that fact. I don't know why. His ego is just getting destroyed, I guess. This reminds me of the, uh, the Nets. The Nets court. Jersey should have kept their fucking their team, bro. I don't like that New York has two teams. Overall, without in the 15 games that he's missed thus far. Yeah, Clay, you want you wanna you wanna show that you can get buckets. Show you could get buckets then. You can't just say, oh, well, I, I do this. You cry, you cry and shit. Why do this? Whatever the fuck he said. Show you can get buckets. You're in his feelings, cause basketball is a business. You're not playing the same. You're not. You're not. Get that in your head. You're not. I think that's the biggest difference right there. And if you look over the last game says, games, which Jamie well played two of those games after his suspension, he yeah, very by what he's been seeing. Beverly gets inside. Damn, you're lucky. Off the grass, glass for Beverly. I like Beverly being here too. I really do. I think he finally found like a home. I really like him uh, with Philly. I'm not even about to lie. Pajemski has been stupid. It's two niggas that came off here. It's another nigga. Quintos? Him right there, the nigga number 25. On the three. That's the first three pointer by either team. There is a sense of desperation. Golden State on the outside looking in of the playoffs. Philly just They're not making the playoffs. Bro. Let's be honest. Until Embiid is back. Hey. Beverly, he just sauced that nigga. Ooh, come here. Beverly, Beverly, yeah, Bev. All right, Andrea. Martin knocks down the three. Their first three of the game. Looney gets the pass inside. Gathers and banks it off. Come on, Looney coming off the bench once again. Why? I don't, I don't understand it. They should get like Andre Drummond, bro. Andre Drummond is such a nigga, a nigga that's just so underappreciated. Like, bro, on the bench with 15 minutes, this nigga's getting double doubles. Like, why is he, bro? Low key, bro. <laughs> we should. I'm a Clippers fan. We should try and get him. I would much rather have uh, Andre Drummond over Zubac. I'm being honest. And Zubac is really good, but like, what's the face is better? He he provides a way bigger uh, post presence. Our post presence is decent, but it could be better. And he would provide hell. Lays it up and in. And Nick Nurse wants a timeout. Ten straight points by Golden State. Majemski leading the break. Feeds off to Kaminga. Okay. Who are these niggas? Quiznos? 
They got Quiznos, Podemski, Podemski, whatever his name is. He gets another opportunity. Now Maxi is for Damn, that nigga weak. That nigga's weak. Yeah, now we shall see how Maxi performs as the first option player. Nice connection lead up to four. Steph Curry, by the way, still scoreless. If you're wondering, he's, he's been scoreless in the first half 13 Good times shot. in his career as Tobias Harris knocks it down. You do your thing, and you do it well. Now, it's time to do it. Wiggins on Maxi. Oh, Step oh my God. Oh, my God. Tyree Stetson mm. with his first three-pointer. Only the second one of the first half. He tries again. Oh, uh, he flying. Well, Ooh, come here. Oh, wait, go, 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 go. Ooh, come here. Yeah, Wiggins and Clay are on the chopping block. And I don't think they should trade with uh, Clay, if I'm being honest. I think they should just give him, like, a smaller role. You know what I mean? Maybe with a smaller role, he'll, he'll improve efficiency-wise. You do what I said? Become, like, uh, yeah, uh, spark plug off of the bench. You do what I said? Because this, him as the second option, bro, it's not working no more, bro. Y'all won't win as him as as him as the second option. Let's be honest. He, he just out of he's far past his prime. Let's be a hundred he's been out of the, out of his prime since what? Before twenty twenty two I wanna say? For a good amount of time now, niggas been holding on to the glory days. The glory days are over. It's time to face reality. Y'all not winning shit with Clay. And that's just Bottom line, bro. Y'all not. Not that y'all not winning shit with him, but like the responsibility he has, bro. It, it, it's it's too much for him now. You know what I mean? It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry to say it, but it's not. And this is a business. It's nothing personal. You, you know what I mean? This is this is a business. This is where. The best basketball players in the world come to play. <laughs> Where you're expected to perform at peak level. And if you're not performing at peak level, uh, your, your stock goes down. Your value goes down. And that's just that's just the business of basketball, my nigga. It's nothing personal. It's facts. Now fuck with Clay heavily. It's just, it's just reality. Ooh, come here. Personally, yeah. And that, that's another thing, bro. Well, Philly, bro, Joel and B, I'm not the biggest fan of him, but I would hate to see him have, like, a career-ended injury. I would hate to see that. So, personally, bro, y'all niggas should just sit him for the rest of the season. Y'all not doing shit in the playoffs anyway. Like, let's let's be 100% honest. Y'all not doing shit. Don't rush a comeback before. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same thing. Then that happened to KD. And that nigga was out for like a year. So, like, is it really worth it, bro? No, it's not. At all. At all. So, take your time with this. Let him 100% heal. Because even in the playoffs, bro, he'll be at what, like 80%? You're not ever going to get all of them? Hey, yeah. just, just let him rest. Y'all have no hope in the playoffs anyway. At most first round. I mean, at minimum. Uh, yeah, minimum y'all getting out first round, most second round. 
But without him, first round, easy. <laughs> without him, y'all low key might not even get past them. Y'all might get moved down to the play in. <laughs> Dead ass. And that's highly possible. Bucket. Damn. I knew that hurt. I know that shit hurt. That nigga got stone wall. Yeah. And they need a bigger big man. Looney Loki ass, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, good shit. I was about to say. I thought they were short the miss. Yeah, nigga, you 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 sad about these niggas not this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, defensively wise, he slowed down. He's not the same defender anymore. And offensively. I love that continuation play, bro. I really do. For that continuation foul. Never fuck his foul. Cash. Bro! Beverly hooping! What the fuck? Yeah, who is that? Oh, no, nah, that's not me. We're going there already. This is just such an impressive performance. Oh, my Steal there from Smith. Smith goes up and throws it down. The injuries, especially with Joel and Bede, but for Steph Curry to score nine points and then to be up by 30. That's a, that's a good sign, three-pointer for Uwe. I was blindsided, to be honest, by both. That's, that's also Clay's thing. Consistency. How consistent can you, can you do this? You've shown flashes that, bro, you can be the same player that you used to be. Easily. I got no doubt in my mind that's possible. Wicked Curry, like the his play style, um, what am I trying to say? It's like his play style makes, uh, what am I trying to say, bro? You get what I'm trying to say? Like his play style, make, it's not impossible for him to become what he used to be because of his play style. It's not like it's athleticism or nothing like that. It's just it's shooting. You know what I mean? It's very possible for him to be how he used to be. And he showed streaks of that this season. His thing is just consistency, bro. He'll have a streak of five games doing amazing. Next next game, he's shooting like four for 20. Again, going like a three-game streak of doing great. Next game, he's shooting like five for 20. Five for 25. Not Probably not like that, but like three for 10 or like three for 15. Four for 15. Two for 11, one for 11. Right. His thing is just, he got to just consistently just keep that shit up. His efficiency rating up. Yeah, it, yeah. He's just not as reliable, as, nowhere near as reliable as he used to be. What is this, a 13? Wow. Yeah, it's GG's for the fucking... And that's another... That's a terrible sign. You know what I mean? That is a... I feel like as a team, you know you have a great team when your first option is out and they still pose a threat. When your first option is the only option, that's horrible, bro. That is not a good team at all. You just have a good player and good players that accent that. And you have players that accent that player. You know what I mean? But once that player's out of out of the equation, the whole team fucking blows up. So yeah, that's a horrible sign, bro. Terrible. And I, I already knew them niggas. If you a 76ers fan, bro, good luck. Y'all not getting nowhere. I, no time soon. Not going to lie to you. But uh, Curry, damn, two for seven, 25 minutes, too? But only seven shots. That's not too bad. Clay, 
18, one, uh, zero turnovers, one block, one assist, three rebounds, six or 12. If he gives me this every game, I'm cool with this, bro. Just give me this consistently, like on some Norman Powell shit. Consistently, every single game. Every game. Just this. Just focus on just getting a, a high percentage, 15 points. A high field goal percentage, 15 points. I'll be cool with that, bro. You know what I mean? If he do that consistently, bro, he can be, like, I feel like the team can be in a way better position. They just need consistency out of him. Uh, Wiggins, 21, zero turnovers, one block, one steal, one assist, 10 rebounds, 9 of 14. Same, same with him. He just needs consistent numbers, bro. Very terrible this season. Horrible this season. Kaminga, 18, one turnover. One still, five, six, six rebounds, seven and fourteen. Kaminga has been, he needs a bigger role in my opinion. Like, he needs a bigger role. <clears throat> I feel like he can be like low key. I'm not gonna lie. I think he could be like a star player on the team. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe not yet, but he has that potential to be like like that. You know what I mean? Draymond for Four points, two turnovers, one block, one steal, three assists, six rebounds, two of four. And I don't care about anyone else. Okay. Um, Maxi five of fourteen. Man, twelve, five of fourteen. Ubre eleven, five of fifteen. They just blew up. You know. Hey man, it is what it is. Overall, man. Philly, y'all gonna keep dropping. I'm not gonna. Y'all are going to keep dropping. Y'all, y'all are about to just. I wouldn't be surprised if y'all like slip deep into the playing type shit, like eighth, ninth. I would not be surprised. If it depends solely if what's the face is out for the rest of the season. If what's the face is out, uh, and B, if and B is out for the rest of the season, yeah. Y'all slipping in, in the here into this range. Um, and it's very possible. Very possible. I just need to start losing. It's very possible for that to happen. But um Warriors Okay, alright. It's possible for them to get into playing. It's looking hopeful. They get into playing. I don't I still don't pose them as a threat. I still got Los Angeles beating them. Dallas beating them, Pelicans be beating them, not Utah, but just because, possibly not Dallas, but Pelicans and Lakers for sure. Late, the Warriors are just too disorganized. Being disorganized in the postseason, bro, is a is a recipe for disaster. Let's be let's be a hundred percent honest. That's about it.